Hey guys, my name is Jess. We're gonna go over an icons definition video in addition to their stat um, levels, so to speak, and how it all applies. So, plain and simple, from a uh, lower number to higher number will dictate the weakness to the stronger. I don't know how to really put that, but anyways, right, number one will be kindling, and when it comes to kindling, this is this involves firing, so three parts. Firing as in burning wood, or smelting ores, or, uh, or ingots or whatever, to ingots. And then cooking. So obviously the lower level to higher level will dictate um, how fast a certain product will be made. Now on screen, from the left to the right, not the pictures of the pals, but look at the things and the, uh, the, the, the little appliances. Those are what these pictures apply to. I kind of made it backwards, but anyways, um, you get the idea. So when it comes to planting, same thing. I didn't actually include uh, some footage about this sort of space, that sort of thing, but it's just... Um, it, it's the same thing. Um, right here in my hands on the right side will be a Capriti that's fully ascended, which means that she has level 3 and the one on the left has level 2. But regardless, you see the the, the wheel, the progress bar, it's spinning and it's, uh, you know, progressively going faster for the one that has higher planting, right? Okay, here we go. Number 3, Handiwork. All right, so this will be a tiny bit long. So when it comes to handiwork, um, I have a level four versus level three one, and you see the progress bar on the level four, it's not even completing because it's just so fast. This is the difference, right? This is a significant difference. Now we're gonna boost both of these guys up with some salad to get them to 163. I'm gonna, we're gonna see if the salad does anything. It does do something on the, for the, for the guy on the left, for the Lilian on the left, but does it, is it like anywhere near as effective? As a level 4? No. No it is not. And that is, um, that is interesting to say the least. Um, okay, so we're gonna get into the next part of this handiwork. Yeah, so when it comes to, um, handiwork, they have, all, the pals that have handiwork have the ability to use, uh, the repair tools. So you put it in the chest, and they're gonna go to the chest, they're gonna start repairing it. You see the HP bar on this thing, go up and up and up right there boom it went up so they can manually go repair things without your intervention which is wonderful next is logging so same thing as the previous um the lower levels will dictate a slower chopping while the higher levels will dictate a more faster or speedy chopping right you see the progress bars right now a little bit to the right maybe yep and right there level Two versus level three it is pathetically slow okay they have practically the same exact passives and um, yeah the level difference is very significant you know just like the fire just like the handiwork you see here that levels do play a role okay now when it comes to medicine um, some things to note this can be misleading but the higher level is the same exact process or application as the previous such as handiwork, right? So these pals do not have the ability to administer the drugs to pals that need it, right? The ones that are depressed, the ones that have broken bones, they can't get um, treated by these pharmaceutical pals, even though they have the trait, the skill called medicinal uh, productivity, right? So the only thing that this specific trait really applies to is just making the drug, right? They're certified, they're pharmacists, but they just I don't know, they're missing their hands or something. Um, they can't administer the drugs. So that's pretty much it with that. Now when it comes to watering, this applies a lot of things. This goes for watering crops, watering whetstones, which are known as the crushers, and then watering the mills with the flour. Now from the left to right is the higher level to the lowest level. Um, level one I don't include because it's just so pathetically slow. And you see that level four is superior to level three and level two. And that's pretty much how it goes. The higher level, the faster it goes. The lower level, the slower it goes. Obviously, slapping on the laws and the naws for the passives are great additions, right? Link in the description and or on screen for that video of the best passives. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it when it comes to water. Um, I do like this orientation though, um, because it's very easy to chart and to see how much of a progress difference it makes. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so when it comes to electricity, here are some things, okay? So pretty much, it's all it is is just, 
once you get to the level where you can make the generator and once you get to the level where you when you can make the bigger generator i guess so to speak you want to um get the bigger generator and then slot in the highest level electricity pals you can right and then level 45 or level 48 i don't remember gives you the electric pylon and that just helps amp up the um efficiency of generating electricity from your electric pals right and you see that those two pals were able to just supply electricity for this entire base from that one generator and that's why it's very imperative and very important that you have high level pals and those pals that i had uh, that you saw previously were the orzerks right and two of them can go to one uh, generator so that's one thing to keep in mind so you have a bit of leeway here and there and whatnot so yeah see it says power online it's being supplied the whole entire base is being supplied by these two guys and you see that it's slowly draining and once it reaches a certain threshold they'll start recharging it right and that's just something to note now let's get into some gathering now this one um this one's pretty important so same thing um higher level means the faster they'll harvest the level fours of the frost alley Knox, and they harvest it pretty well but obviously player intervention at the end game you're gonna have a bigger impact you you can actually harvest these faster than the, the pals themselves even once they hit level five um harvest which is kind of interesting um so another thing to know about this is that when you have high gathering it has another secret compartment to it right here they finished harvesting and boom we got 25 lettuce okay normally you get five to ten so it all depends on the harvesting or the gathering level so to speak well, the higher the gatherer the more yield you're gonna get and this applies to other things such as skill fruit bases it applies to you know harvesting crops it applies to practically every single thing in general when it involves gathering okay moving on to the next one mining so what mining is is something actually very interesting that lots of people actually sleep on or just totally ignore and or just don't know so when it comes to mining obviously like the previous clips the higher mining level the more or the faster you the pal will be able to mine right so we got level three to level two both have literally the exact same passive artisan and nocturnal and you know the duma the guy is giving it a, quite a headbutt but it's not it's not doing enough so Look at this, level 1 can mine both so, uh, sorry, stone and sulfur, okay, level 2 can mine stone, sulfur, and ore, level 3 can mine stone, sulfur, ore, and coal, and quartz, okay, so it's just that sort of gist that you gotta really put into, um, what is the word, put into consideration when you start mining, right, you want to only dedicate certain bases to specific pals and whatnot because level twos can't mine certain things level ones can't mine certain things and it's just those things that you want to just keep in mind when you're going about mining and whatnot and um yeah so when it comes to cooling same thing applies but in a different manner so the higher level cooling dictates the amount of duration the a certain food will last within a cake or sorry <laughs> within a food box so you see here level one cools it for an hour level two cools it for six hours you see what i'm getting here is that six yeah that's six hours right yeah level three cools it to whatever that number is i don't know eight hours i think is that eight hours that seems like a little longer than eight hours um no yeah it's probably eight hours and then level four goes so I don't know how long that is like 10 hours is my math mathing right now that's I'm not even gonna bother all right so when it comes to grazing this is the icon for farming or grazing grazing is the action farming is what the skill is called anyways pals with this specific skill or trait will be able to enter a ranch and start producing stuff on screen you can click the link if you'd like this is a cake base and you before you have money to buy the ingredients you should really get them yourselves and that's the only reason why i included that now when it comes to the ranch which involves grazing there are 17 pals in total that you can slot into the ranches okay they all produce their own specific material and whatnot so yeah now the best part about this is that you should actually assign them to a monitoring stand um it's best to do it that way because if you don't then you're you're, you're gonna be out of luck when pals start doing things that they're not supposed to right because they get sidetracked 
Now, grazing in action. You see I got a bunch of ranches out, they're all assigned to their ranches and whatnot, and I got a transporter right in the middle with, along with a chest and the food box. Now let's get into the drops. Now, I'm just gonna include these drops here, um, just in case people are wondering, you know, what these ranch um, palace can give you as a drop, okay? When it's when they poop it out of a ranch, okay? I'm not talking about what they drop as a pal when you, you know, wipe them off the face of the earth, okay? So, yeah, these are pretty much all it is. You don't really have to listen to my voice anymore because I'm gonna be heading out. And three, two, one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Um, see you guys next time. Peace!